All right, this is an epic statue I got. It's the last statue I'm ever going to purchase. It's I think it's the best Batman uh, around. Um, I think it's the best Batman. I had the Randy Bone Batman, um, but I uh, I sold it. This ba is basically the same price. It's uh, seven hundred, and the Randy Bone Batman sells for about seven hundred. Um, so um, this guy is amazing. He uh, comes in uh, black, or you can get him in uh, blue and gray. Um, yeah, um, and you can get him with uh, you can get him with uh, short ears and the mouth closed, or um, the long ears and the mouth open. I like this one. Um, he's got a batarang right there. Um, so this was, uh, this statue is, let's see if I can fucking focus, this stupid camera. And let me focus on his hand. Oh, there we go. There's, there's the Batarang. It's pretty badass. Um, so yeah, this is from Andre Cooper in the Philippines. He's a master, uh, sculptor. He's amazing. He's only made 28 of this uh, statue. Um, uh, look at that. Uh, the the stone is painted so well. Like you, you just think it's a a piece of stone. Um, it's a very deep insight. Um, but yeah, it's just the paint job is incredible. Um, so it's Andre Cooper. If you want to get one, it's seven hundred dollars. Um, his email address is. Let me give it to you. It's Andre at Perco. Dot. Um, let me, let me focus this while I read it. Um, shit. Come here. Why is it focusing on this? What the fuck is going on? Why, what's, why is it focusing on the left? No, you fucking idiot. Fo focus on the right. It's not focusing in the center. Alright, hold up. There we go. Focus. Fucking make so much damn noise. But, um... So if you want one, contact Andre at perco.ph. That's A-N-D-R-E at P-E-R-C-O dot P-H. I figured I'd put that out there because um, this is a fantastic statue. It is very, very front heavy. I think it's made of fiberglass. I mean, I do not want to break it. I wish it weighed a little bit more at the base. That might have helped. But look at this. If I do this... To the, see that it tips just a little bit of weight to the front of the gargoyle so I'm not I'm not putting this guy in a lazy Susan um, I, yeah he is also two feet tall by two feet wide if you want to see um, a World of Warcraft figure next to him that's a six inch figure um, Here, here we go. This is uh, Arthas, the Arthas DC Unlimited figure. He's nine inches tall, and this is what he looks like next to him. So, fuck me. <laughs> um, okay, so let me rotate this guy so you can see him a little better. His utility belt there. I like how they, he played with uh, space. It's, uh, you can see really the space um, between his hand and the stop of the statue. It just really makes you just aware of space. So let me turn him around a little bit. i got to be very careful. I'm going to put the camera down as I turn him around. All right. Uh, let me turn him to this side so you can see him from this angle. It's a little different. I like this, this angle. It's a pretty cool angle. Badass. Badass Batman. Batmans are my favorite comics. I gotta say, I collect Batman, The Dark Knight, regular Batman, and the Detective Comics Batman, and all three of those are fabulous. They're my favorite comic. I collect a lot of comics. Um, so let me rotate it around again a little bit more. Um, okay. There is his face. Uh, here is his cape um, blowing against the uh, side of the gargoyle. Um, 
You know, I actually like the, the, the blue and the gray would probably look nicer because it would be a bigger, mix, larger uh, difference of colors. But I just, all the new Batman titles, Batman's black and in the movies he's usually black. So I just got it. I think the blue and gray is, is kind of cheesy. It's more like a kid's, uh, more like, I don't know, like... Adam West, what did he, he wore uh, blue and gray, I don't know, it just doesn't seem as cool, it seems more cartoonish, um, so let me show you, this is his back, it looks, oh man, that looks nice, um, I got this yesterday, Jesus Christ, the box was, was like the biggest thing I've ever seen, it could, uh, it could easily shelter a homeless man, <laughs> I should have donated to the Salvation Army after I'm done with it. Uh, yeah, so here's, look, you can see the tail on the gargoyle. Oh, my God, look at that weathering. Um, so, yeah, what's going on in Batman? The Batman, the comic is um, the Owls. The, the Owl group, who's the Brotherhood of the Owls, is currently fighting Batman or whatever, um, and number three of the new 52. Um, Detective Comics is, uh, like, what is it right going, it's going on now? Um, that guy is the skinner. He fucking, uh, is skinning people, and he's patching together pieces of flesh. And then, uh, in Batman and the Dark Knight, I gotta say, I, I hate Robin. He's fucking gay. I don't have a thing with gay people, but... Well, so then maybe it shouldn't really be a problem. So, all right, it doesn't matter that he's gay, but he is gay. Um, and he dresses like a fucking dork, and he's little, and Batman is just so much cooler. We don't need Robin. That's why I don't buy Batman and Robin. And then uh, in Batman Dark Knight, it's, uh, it's right, uh, the, who is it, like, one of the villains developed this, uh, um, formula that uh, makes you fearless, and uh, but eventually it makes you ripped too. But eventually you start bleeding out of your eyes, and you fucking go to the hospital. So um, here's it from this side. Buy this Batman. If you're gonna buy a Randy Bowen, don't do it. This thing is better. It's quarter scale. The Bowen's only 11 inches tall. Ooh, look, there's the head of that gargoyle. It looks pretty cool. Um, but the Bone Batman's great. Um, and I think I need to rotate it just like one more time, and we'll be back to our original starting position. Um, yep. There it is. Here's my Wolverine next to it. Much smaller. Yeah, I gotta get that fucking Wolverine repainted. Fucking hell. I'm done with statues. Until Confessor Dahlia, the uh, DC Unlimited, um, the DC Unlimited uh, World of Warcraft figure comes out. The Undead Priestess. My statue addiction is, is done. Um, there's this utility belt. Um, I actually made twenty dollars last month through my videos. That's pretty incredible. So, if I could make three hundred a month, uh, then I would come out with a video every month because I buy a new statue. Well, okay then. I hope you like this figure, this this wonderful statue, and uh, have a nice day.